just wanted to do a quick review on Captain Marvel. I saw it Thursday night in IMAX. Uh, I thought overall it was a, overall it was a good movie. I want to give it a, a solid 7.5 to maybe an 8 at the most out of 10. Uh, I thought the acting was great. I thought Brie Larson really hit it out of the park uh, in terms of her acting. Uh, there were some moments, uh, especially at the start, where maybe she wasn't that convincing. But then as the movie progressed, she really, she just owned the role. Uh, I believe that, yeah, she was Carol Danvers and, and Captain Marvel. She embodied that character. So I think she really, she did a great job in that respect. Uh, the directing, I heard some comments from other uh, moviegoers that it wasn't that great be honest that that was just fine it was on par uh, with other Marvel films didn't really have any problems with it uh, visually it was fine um, I think the music was probably one of the worst uh, one of the weaknesses of the movie it felt like they just shoehorned a lot of 90s songs in there especially the uh, Nirvana uh, come as you are and the cringiest moment was uh, no doubt uh, I'm just a girl that was one of the uh, worst uh, music to visual uh, you know trying to put a song in there just shoe a horn it and since the Watchmen uh, they didn't do a lot of good choices with, with the Watchmen um, music it didn't match the visuals and, and this is pretty Watchmen-esque in terms of that uh, pacing wise I thought the pacing was pretty good at the start and then towards the middle when when she as soon as she crash landed on earth uh, it was interesting but then it started to get a little bit it dragged on for a, a tiny bit not too long uh, it kind of suffered from Thor disease I guess where it was a great movie until Thor landed on earth and then it kind of got boring so it did suffer from a bit of pacing issues in that respect but all the scenes on the home planet, like, holy, those were amazing. Those were like Guardians of the Galaxy-esque. Uh, just really good. I enjoyed that. But when she landed on Earth, it, was, it wasn't was bad, but it was just, like, this is her homeland, and then uh, landing on Earth was, you know, down there. So it wasn't bad, just in comparison, it wasn't that good. <clears throat> so that part. And then the villain, uh, who was the villain? Oh, yeah, the... The scroll thing with the I don't know that was that was different I didn't know what to make of it at the moment it was sort of like is this political or what but you know I guess issues are more complicated than they seem on the surface so you know, it was interesting uh, I wonder where they're gonna take this Kree scroll war uh, thing the scroll invasion uh, storyline that they're wanting to set up for the next phase phase four or phase five. Um, Hopefully Fantastic Four is in there, but, you know, essentially the, the Skrull are evil, but I guess not all Skrulls are evil, I guess so they're, that's what they're trying to say. There's more than black and white to to war. Uh, what else? What, can, what else can I say about the movie? Uh, the I don't want to give any spoilers out, but the post credit scene, oh, that was great. Just stay in your seats for all those post credit scenes are great. Marvel just hits it out of the park. Uh... They really know how to introduce a character, and you know they're doing it the right way. Whereas DC, uh, you know, you just wish they would uh, build the world a lot more uh, patiently, and just you know, it seems they're learning a little bit with Aquaman. Like they're actually, if they released all these solo movies before beforehand, then Justice League would have been a lot more successful. I think. Uh, not, not I think I know it's pretty obvious it would be more successful because they're building that world. Whereas you know, when they released Justice League and Batman vs. Superman, people were just, you know, they weren't in love with the characters. They didn't, they didn't develop that attachment to the characters yet. So they're trying to just build that world too quickly without, you know, giving the proposal, the engagement ring, you know, just trying to bend the fans, so to speak. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, that's my review. So once again, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, there were some SJW, you know, subtle messages, maybe not so subtle uh, about women being strong. But you know what? There are strong women out there. The generalization is women are weaker than men, and that's true. But 
to say that all women are you know weak is is false because there are exceptions and i've met them in in sports and in life in general and you know you'll be surprised don't judge a book by its cover uh, i'm not sure what made her special in a way i don't know if it was her compassion or what it was maybe i'm just don't understand maybe i don't understand because i'm a man and it's just that hidden dimension of you know feminism or or being a woman the the woman experience that i just don't understand but overall uh it's a good movie uh i I would recommend it just you know don't if you're going to it with a political mindset and looking for all these flaws then you maybe won't enjoy it but if you're just looking at it as a comic book movie and you want to be entertained and you want to see what marvel's got next how they're going to fit this in infinity uh not infinity war but avengers endgame um you know it's it's worth the money thanks